Hello everyone, you are watching FSO exam tips and today's topic is structure and functions of food authority. So talking about food authority, it actually has 22 members and out of these members, one third are women. The members of the authority represent various ministries and departments such as agriculture, commerce, consumer affairs, and many more. As we have already understood the governing structures of FSSAI, now we will understand each of them in details. Starting with Central Advisory Committee, the primary responsibilities or mandate of Central Advisory Committee is to advise the authority to identify potential risk. And uh, next, we have chairperson. So, chairperson is the functional head of food authority. He is appointed for three years by government of India. The chairperson must be from food science department or at least not below the secretary. Next, we have scientific committee. And this scientific committee of food authority has chairperson of scientific panel and six independent scientific expert. And they are responsible for providing scientific opinions to the food authority. Next, we have scientific panel. The work of scientific panel is to provide expert advice on specific fields such as biological hazards, food testing, and contaminants. Next, we have Chief Executive Officer or CEO who is actually the Executive Head of FSSAI. And CEO is not selected below the rank of additional secretary. And his job is to deal with day-to-day -day administration. The CEO has the power or control over the officers or any other employees of food authority. CEO is usually the member secretary of food authority. Food authority of state or Indian territories are Commissioner of Food Safety, Designated Officer, Adjudicating Officer, Food Safety Officer, and Food Analyst. Now, let's try to understand each of them in details. First, Commissioner of Food Safety. Commissioner of Food Safety is the head of food authority of the state and functions of commissioners of food safety are stop buying or selling of things conduct survey conduct training program charge somebody with a crime and hand over power Next, Designated Officer. Designated Officer are appointed by Commissioner of Food Safety. And Designated Officer are not below the rank of Subdivisional Officer. And each district needs to have one Designated Officer. And talking about Central Designated Officer, the central designated officer is appointed by CEO and designated officers are known as licensing authority as central designated officer are known as central licensing authority and state designated officer are also called as state licensing authority Coming to functions of designated officer, they can issue or cancel license. They can also stop 
buying or selling of things. They receive samples from food safety officers. Not only that, they also keep record of all the inspections done by food safety officers. Next, adjudicating officer. All the offenses committed are looked after by adjudicating officer. And adjudicating officer also take part in issuing or cancellation of license. Next, we have food safety officer. Role of food safety officers are sample collection, inspect any place for sample collection under section 38. Last but not the least, we have food analyst. Food analysts are those who analyze food sample. And function of food analyst comes under section 45. The food analyst may ask for second sample within seven days. If the first sample is found to be broken or unfit for analysis. And the food analyst should submit report of testing within 14 days. That's all for today. And a preparation without participating in mock test is always an incomplete preparation. So, if you are preparing for FSSI AI exam, then you can join our free mock test in the telegram link given below. Thank you and have a nice day.